Hi, I'm Marcy Leroff, and this is my casting story for Mean Girls. So we finally finished casting the film, and many times on a film they like to do what's called a table read, which we have all of the cast come to a giant room and we sit literally around a table and everybody reads their part. Invited to the table read is the director, the producer, all the studio execs. Many times it's also a, a place where they can have, they invite a few writers to come in because we'll do like a comedy polish on the script. So in this particular case, we had Sherry Lansing, the head of Paramount, Lauren, what the hell's his name? Lauren Michaels, the uh, producer of the film. Lauren Michaels produces Saturday Night Live, you might know. And every single cast member. So the uh, we're, we're getting ready, and the guy that plays Lindsay Lohan's love interest, I'm not gonna say his name, comes in and he's wearing a baseball cap and he's kind of acting all scruffy and, and cool and he sits down at the table and I suggest you take off your hat so people can see your beautiful face. And then the director also sees he still has his cap on so he runs over and tells him to take off your cap. And we go around to each actor and just make sure they're comfortable and also tell them, you know, it's a table read. It's a weird situation. Like you're reading it off the page but you're also acting and you're trying to make this material come alive and we tell everybody actor to every actor to you know sing out you know Tina Fey wrote this she's there she's playing a role Amy Poehler is there and so we we could talk to each actor and and say you know Lauren Michaels he has the most amazing table reads every week for the last 25 years on Saturday Night Live so he's used to a level that's up here so you know sing out so we go to this actor and say, again, you might want to take your hat off and remember to really, you know, act, act up a storm. So we start the table read and he still has his hat on and we get to his lines and he basically mumbles them like this. We can't hear a thing he's saying. So we can't hear a thing he's saying. And he's just being too cool for the room. And as we're getting through the script, I'm thinking, okay, who, who are we going to replace this guy with? Because he's not going to make it to the set. He's going to be fired the moment this thing is over. And I just, I'm going through like my mental ro Rolodex of who did we like? Who was the second choice? Because I know he's not going to survive. And we get to the end and it was so spectacular and everybody's laughing and clapping. And uh, the director and Lorne Michaels pull me over and said, yeah, so who are you going to, who are we going to replace him with? <laughs> and it happened just like that. He, he didn't even make it to the car before he was fired. So a cautionary tale to actors to uh, listen to your director and, and listen to the advice they're giving you and uh, try not being so cool for school.